Good morning, everyone. I am prepping out a pork shoulder roast that I cooked this weekend while I was gone on my trip. So today, this morning, I am breaking it apart. And right now, I am cooking this wonderful broth down. This came from the pork shoulder roast. And I'm simmering it down to try to get as much liquid out of it as possible. And what I'm going to do with this is I am going to make, instead of beef and noodles, we're going to make pork roast and noodles. So right here, I have the meat that I pulled out for that. I have some of the broth set aside so that I can add my cornstarch, some Worcestershire sauce, some milk, and a little bit of sour cream. Okay. Now I had two open pastas. I had a penne and I have a rigatoni. And I'm going to use both of those pastas for my pork and noodles. And I have my sweet peas to add to that. So I'm kind of making a stroganoff with it. That's going to be a meal that we can eat on and on and on until it is gone. Now, something else I did is you notice there are three containers sitting here. The top one are the bigger chunks that I chunked off of that shoulder roast uh, bone. The second one below that is what I sliced off um, to make sandwiches with for the week. So that's my lunch meat for the week. And on the bottom is some that is shredded out so that I can make us some shredded pork burritos. And um, I think that sounds fantastic. We have flour tortillas, we have cheese. We have everything needed to make some pork shredded burritos. So you have your pork chunks that will make like a typical, original kind of old fashioned plate of chunked pork with mashed potatoes and a vegetable, you know, and then we have my lunch meat and we have what we're gonna make the burritos out of. Now this third little container right here has all of the fat pieces that has the little itty bitty pieces of meat on it. What I'm going to do with that is I'm going to cook that down and make a really nice broth to store in the refrigerator. So this is where my pork shoulder roast has gone. Just an idea of when you do buy the larger pieces of meat, how many options you have. If you have a smaller family or you have a family that, you know, you want to do some diversity with a large piece of meat and all of those can be frozen and worked with later. So fantastic. It was a huge pork shoulder roast, by the way. So we're going to have our pork stroganoff. We will have roast our pork sandwiches, our traditional pork mashed potatoes and vegetable meal, um, and our pork burritos. And then I will cook this down and make a really nice broth for a soup later on when it starts getting cooler outside. So I'll see you all later, but that is what I'm working on right now. This morning is prepping up that pork shoulder roast. You all have a great day. Bye.